and you know so yeah. that's that's just how I, what i do and yeah. then i do stuff i don't overthink it yeah yeah okay let's talk about who your current favorite athletes and physiques are and why uh, i'm i'm kind of excited about uh, like the classic physique is kind of going back uh, and i think it's kind of um, i don't have per se classic okay. physique guys but you could see like the old school physique um, yeah. Like Ronnie, this was probably, yes, 2001, could have been the Mr. Olympia. Uh, like Flex Wheeler, this was his last Mr. Olympia we shot him. And this was, wow. this picture was just, uh, you know, I was shooting, he was out of breath. He, he was leaning forward. My, my wife, she said, you're going to take this shot. My wife used to assist me. Oh, okay. So I just took that shot. So it's, it's kind of not posed. And the same thing with Ronnie, I was shooting him. Uh, I lived in Brentwood and I had an outdoor studio uh, backdrops that I shot against on the on a rooftop in Brentwood. Yeah. So I was shooting Ronnie and this was off season. He was probably 300 pounds. And wow. do, you, do you guys want me to make it bigger or do you get a... I think we got it. We got oh yeah, it. You cool. You guys see that? Yeah, so uh, um, yeah, Ronnie, he was kind of like just breathing in between. And to me, it was like he always thanked God, right, when he yes. won. I've seen that. And, and it, to me, had that kind of a, a little bit of a, like a spiritual, religious yeah. feel over it, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I felt that, too. Yeah. yeah. And Jay. And Jay, this. Uh, he's Jay, one of my favorites no, all the time. Jay, it's like, I, I love Jay. He's, yeah. a, he's such a cool guy. Let's see if we can make this. Work. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. Yes. That so a great shot. So this, this shot has a story. I remember this one when me and my wife moved over to the U.S. in uh, 99. I think this was two weeks after the Arnold's Classic. Mm -hmm. And and Joe, I was I didn't have a contract yet, so we just came over just, you know, by chance. And Joe, I had a great relationship with Joe, and Joe said, uh, uh, hey, Pear, I think you should shoot with Jay. He's a great new kid, new guy. And he was, yeah. I think, maybe 23 at the time. So we set up a shoot, and he was staying at a hotel, Marina Pacific Hotel by Venice Beach. And, oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm, We're going to make sure. it even a little bigger. He's 23 can... here? Yes. Wow, oh, he's an aged. I mean, he looks good. Yeah, I'm, I'm he looks afraid. The same. I can't make it bigger. you got to get closer, I, we, I guess. We got yeah. close. I got you. You guys got that? So, uh, yes, thumbs up. So we, we're waiting at the the lobby at the hotel and it's not coming down and we're supposed to start at 10 or whatever. So me and my wife go we go up to to his room and I said, "Hey, what's going on, Jay?" And he's like, "I don't know if I should shoot today. I'm kind of out of shape," he said. <laughs> so he, he like and he said and we're talking, I don't know how long I'm going to do this. The guy is 23 years old, right? He's a baby. Yeah, and he, he's a baby. And he's like, oh, I don't know if we should do this shoot. You know, and, I, and I'm, I didn't beg, but I, you know, I had to, yeah, think, hey, come on, Jay. I think these shots are going to be awesome. It's going to be the best ever. Yeah. OK, you know, so we went down on the, on the beach. And we started shooting and shot amazing stuff. And this, this guy with his bike came by, by chance. So I, uh, you know. I just ran up to him and asked, hey, listen, can we borrow it for a few minutes? And said, yeah, sure, go ahead. And we shot it. And, and a lot of times, that's how th good things yeah. happen, you know? It just, it's authentic, it's organic, and it's naturally happening. Yeah. I mean, this guy's probably like, I'm glad I went riding my bike no, that exactly. day. <laughs> yeah, he, he, didn't, he had no clue. The guy didn't have a clue. But we shot this, and it's with film at the time in uh, 99. And I think a couple of shots uh, ended up on, on Joe Weed had a bar, like a protein bar. Yeah. And he called it the Joe bar. And some of the shots from this session, you know, was on it. So, yeah, it was great. It was the first time I worked with Jay. I love that. Let's yeah. talk a little yeah, bit. He was so critical about himself. I don't get it. You know, he yeah. was Because amazing. we're our own worst critics, and oh, that's absolutely. the way yeah, it is. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to talk a little bit about, I don't know, like the couples one here, because a couples photo shoot is, I mean, you got to have a lot of energy. Are they basically um, usually a couple couple when people come in? Uh, Aaron Madron and his ex-wife, I mean, the wife at the time, I should yeah. say, and uh, Joe wanted me to shoot him. 
I said, yeah, do something with him. This was at that rooftop that I had. I had like a studio set up. It's just like this, but it was outdoors. Uh, like you see in the studio, you call it a cove, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I did something that you could fold up and down, and it's daylight. Uh, and, uh, and Joe was always like, he kind of wanted to capture the, the happiness, mm -hmm. you know, fit, happy people, right? Yeah. Running at the beach. And I remember yeah. he was giving me instructions. Yeah, make them feel like they're in love. You know, they should be happy. Yeah. And, and I think it's awesome, you know, looking back. Yeah. I love it. Um, yeah. Actually, I did a photo shoot with my friend Abe Cruz. Shout out to Abe. I know you're watching. He's an amazing fitness model. He uh, looks fantastic. I know. If you, have you shot him yet? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I think Abe definitely needs to do a photo shoot. What's that? Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah, uh, yeah. we're going to go over here and talk a little bit. And I also wanted to give you a, a shout out to our sponsors, Quest Nutrition. And Bruce Cardenas says oh. to say hello. Okay, yeah, he's he such did. a cool guy. He, he is an amazing guy. So Quest yeah. sponsors our show. We need more bars in the fridge <laughs> over here. Quest uh, Nutrition, uh, we need an SOS here, Bruce Cardenas. We need bars in the fridge <laughs> in the studio. Yes, all the mothers love them, so it's Okay, great. and I just want to say, too, shout out, because they just uh, developed a pizza. Have what? you heard yet? No, I haven't heard. So I haven't tried it, but uh, Bruce, we also need pizza, so there don't there forget us. Go. <laughs> Let's go over here a little bit, too. Um, is there anyone we didn't no, talk yeah, about like, on here? I think this, this is kind of a, a pretty, uh, let me see if I could open this up. Just give me a second. Uh, Kai Green. Oh. oh, I'm glad you brought him up. Yes. Okay. So okay. Kai Green, so I remember, I have so many stories about Kai. I, I shot him way back in the 90s when he was a natural bodybuilder. He was like okay. competing in natural federation. So yeah. I shot him when he was like 16, 17 years old. Okay. So I followed his career. You know, it's amazing. He's still hanging in there looking awesome, you know? Yeah. So this was a shot a few days after Arnold's Classic. Um, late 2000s mm -hmm. i'm not sure about the date so we're shooting at uh, in arlington at the uh, what's the name of the gym again yeah metro, metro me, yeah metroflex metro oh. yes. i mean okay. i love i love the people over there yeah. i just i'm Great getting, gym. getting old you know it's hot in here that's so, all yes it's, all. it's hot <laughs> so yes yeah, so it kind of slipped my mind no but uh, He's so expressive, this guy. Yeah. It's, you never know what you're going to get with him. It's, yeah. and, and I like that. I really like Kai Green, and I know there's so much controversy around him, and he has such a phenomenal physique, and he's so talented on that stage, and he always brings his A game. I would have loved to have seen Kai take titles. Yeah, I think it's like, you know, what the problem is, uh, I have a theory, and I'm probably going to have to eat this up, but... I think your body can only carry so much weight, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, these guys are chasing size. It's all about size, 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 which I, I think is a sad thing, right? Yeah. And, like, these guys, like Ronnie in 2001, I think he was pristine. Maybe he was 246, 248. Yeah. I mean, I think it was, everything came together perfectly. And then when he went beyond that, it's, it's amazing, it's impressive and all that stuff. But yeah. Uh, the muscle gets a little bit blurred it's, it, mm -hmm. because of the sheer size. Yeah. So the question is, like, I come from, you know, growing up with the 80s bodybuilding, like seven, seeing 70s, mm -hmm. 80s, 90s, I think was a, a very special, t like a golden era in a way. Yeah. And then see how everything is getting too big almost, right? Yeah. And, I, and I think it hurts the sport. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree. guys too. And I don't, I don't think the guys want to be like 300 plus of course they want to push it and see how far they can go but yeah you know when we keep i really love the you know the natural state of bodybuilding and uh, being a natural competitor and a natural athlete you know that's something that i appreciate and i do understand how it can be competitive um to that degree where you will absolutely do anything in your power to you know get to that place so you know yeah, i do it's, understand it, it's it's very complex mm -hmm. and i say don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah, that's right. And it's like the judges, if they decide that they want to go in a certain direction, I mean, are you going to be competitive or are you going to, you know, it's, it's each, 
you got to respect the person that he makes mm -hmm. that choice, he yeah. or she. And That's right. It's a personal yeah. choice. And I think it's about, you know, you, it's like, personally, I think you should stay true to yourself, but mm -hmm. staying true to yourself, maybe you can't be competitive. Yeah, it's yeah. really, you know, there's a lot wrapped around that. Yeah, and sure. I do understand, you know, about a year and a half ago was my last competition. And, you know, I just realized a lot of the women, the figure athletes uh, were getting a lot bigger. And and I thought they were supposed to be getting smaller. And, and I just really, you know, I understood in business and what I do, uh, also in entertainment, that it wasn't going to be a look that I could sustain or even probably get to and also naturally. So I had to make a decision to you know soften up the look a little bit and uh, and then you know shoot yeah, for the magazine everybody is you got to be honest about it everybody kind of carries muscles differently I mean yeah. Yeah. there's some genetics out there that is just crazy like no oh, midsection yeah. and and how do you how do you kind of compete with that that's no genetics you cannot compete with no, no absolutely like you yeah. do your best right yeah. stay true to your best be your personal best I think that's yeah well I always had the soccer body and uh, it was the kind of the long waist and I didn't really have hips or anything like that so I used to really work hard to really restructure my body and also um, being a very skinny scrawny lanky tall girl um, my whole life and uh, so we did a lot of adjustments on my body I love this this is exciting oh, yeah, this, uh, uh, yes a lot of covers I've been uh, Yes, all must, like AMI, American Media. Yeah. yeah, I'm blessed to work with them. I think it's a great company. And uh, yeah, this is kind of stuff that I've been doing like the last two, two years, three okay. years maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, you know, I'm going to say, because I want to shout out to Oksana Grishina. Yeah. Again, uh, my posing coach, my friend, and just such a phenomenal woman. She's always the nicest person. Yes. Every 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 day all day. There she is, sexy and strong. That's her. <laughs> I love it. That that shot actually has a story. Okay, let me get this microphone over to you. Yes. So what happened is like we uh, we did a shoot with Oksana. This was like on a Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. And then we we're supposed to do a cover shoot with someone else, but they weren't in shape. Okay. So last minute, should we give uh, Oksana like a last minute shoot and say? Can you do a cover with us? This is like two, three year, days later. And she shows up, and this was uh, off season. It's amazing. Like goosebumps. Yeah, amazing. And that's why they say to always stay on point and always in shape. And Oksana told me not that story, but Oksana always reinforced that to me always be on your best game because you don't know when you're going to get that phone call That's and true. she got the phone call and look exactly. what it landed yeah. her cover and i think she's so pretty there it was kind of a, a little bit different right yeah. Let's talk about some of the other covers. So you guys, we are almost done here and it's just been such an amazing, amazing day here in the studio with professional photographer, world known Per Burnell. So we've got some, we've got some other ones here. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been uh, blessed. I shot rock, uh, you know, plenty of times. We got a new cover coming up with him. Um, Sitting in the newsstands in a few days, I think. It's, Woo, yeah, exciting. so it's cool. It's not all shot, but still, right? That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, let's talk about this one because he's one of my favorites as well. Yeah, he's uh, he's like super. Sergey is like a super guy, right? Yeah. Superman. He has so many followings. Incredible physique, yeah. uh, great look. I mean, he's very handsome, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, what is he like in person? Because I actually haven't oh, met I, him. I, I shot him two, three times. Yeah. It's a little bit like more on the quiet side. Really? Yeah, it's not like uh, he's not jumping on you. Like everybody's different, right? But I kind of like him. It's very like soft spoken, mm, super nice, very kind of uh, gentlemanish. Yeah. I think that's a good word, maybe. Okay. Yeah. I want to know what has been one of the craziest experiences um, photographing. You don't have to say names, but just anyone that you've captured and photographed in studio experience. I mean, I think a lot of times when you shoot high power people, like we shot uh, Dana White, uh, <laughs> such a fun shoot, right? Yeah. But we had, we had to do like three covers, okay. three or four different cover shots, like with different outfits. Yeah. 
we had to do uh, like some portrait shots yeah. and we had to shoot him in a pool okay. and, and we had like 90 minutes on us yeah we did it in seven 90. 90 minutes so we had i I did it in 75. We of actually, course you did. No pressure, no pressure. So it was like we had to preset everything. And when he came, uh, you know, incredible persona. But I, I bonded really well. Um, and then you just got to go. with. So it's so intense. But at the same time, that's when you are feeling alive, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're not thinking about, oh, I forgot to pay the electrical bill. or It's like <laughs> your, your head is just completely just nothing else. Yeah. And, and I love that feeling. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you not only do the athletes and entertainment um, world come alive, but you come alive as well in oh. your position. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, like life is kind of boring when you don't shoot, actually. It, it's sad, right, in a way, but that's when, it, when it's go time, yeah. I think it's like that's when I personally, I kind of, I come to life. Yeah. I mean, I'm alive all the time, but you I know, know. It, it's I know. that extra, you yeah. know. So photography is also your hobby too. So are you taking yeah. pictures all the time, even on your days off? Or oh, I mean, it's like when whenever I travel, I, I have a Leica camera, like a Leica kit. So I, I like I love going to New York, and I usually get like a half a day off or maybe a day off. Yeah. So what do I do? I mean, I, I grab my camera, I just walk the streets and shoot. I, I just love that. I love it. I don't know. Something is wrong with me. <laughs> no, this is amazing. I I'm like that too because I always, I love those moments that you capture. My favorite ones are in photography or when I capture, when I go to the beach, that's my sanctuary. That's my safe place. But I love watching children play in the sand and jumping in the waves and just the just how you know carefree they are and just so. It invites to great shots. I could see that. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's very live. I, I shot um, a family. Uh, Steve Weatherford. He's he's pretty big in the fitness industry, yeah. right? So I shot. You know, he invited me down to San Diego. So I shot him and his family and. Mm -hmm. Just dynamic and you know stuff that happens. I think it was super fun. You know, it's stuff that I haven't really done before, but yeah. I think it's just it's just about me. I have to position me like in a certain angle, in a certain light, and then I just kind of capture life going by, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I script it a little bit, tell them what to do, and then they just gotta do it. Yeah, I think you should do like a superhero movie slash photo shoot, and I could yeah. see that because I obviously that's your passion. You've had that since you were a little kid, you know, just a tender age of 18, and now you're still doing this and capturing all these beautiful sides of people, and just I mean, you've done such a phenomenal job. Thank you so much. I want to congratulate you for yeah. no, this. I, is I, I'm very very blessed. I mean, yeah. it's like to do what I'm doing and. With the industry changing so much, you know, with publishing and you got the Instagram coming in, yeah. you know, being able to stay alive and to yeah. live on it, it's it's tough. But yeah. you know, I would I, I I can't see me do anything else to be honest. I'm I'm starting to shoot some video. I mean, I enjoy it. I think Good. it's fun. Okay. But it's yeah. hard at the same time because I know what I can do, like in Photoshop, and I I don't master. I wouldn't say that I master Photoshop, but I'm pretty good at it, right? Yeah. But to sh shoot video and do the same thing, it's it's completely different. There's many more layers. It's sound, yes. movement, yeah. I wish I had that technique. I want to learn that and have that talent as well. Because, you know, it is fun doing the videos and stuff like that. But the editing is the hard part. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, capturing it all. Where do we find you on social media? How can we follow you? How can people get in touch with you so that they can oh, book their shoot? Great. You could do go to you know my Instagram account is Per Bernal Photo, mm -hmm. easy, and uh, Facebook it's just Per Bernal. Yeah. I actually have two yeah. accounts. One I don't use much, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And you know you can get all the information there. Yeah, and you can also find it on my social media as well. We're gonna be posting up this video um, and this interview today, exclusive interview here in the studio with Per Bernal and seeing all his magic and his art and what he's done. This is such a huge accomplishment. I am. I feel honored to be in here. Oh, thank you. And, and I'm looking forward to the next time I'm in here being be on yes. the other side of the we'll, camera. We'll, we'll do some great stuff together. Yes, thank yes. you. Thank I appreciate you, so you guys all for being here today. 
appreciate uh, Per's time and just all of this and to all the athletes and everybody that has been behind the camera with Per. Congratulations to all of you and thank you so much for, for having, having us. Me. It's very nice. Thank yes. you so much. I'm thank honored. you guys. I appreciate yes. you all being here today. Make sure you reach out to him and uh, book your session today. Call me, right? Bye guys. Okay. Thanks.